So rent or buy, uh, pros and cons for both. Rent for pros, no fees, you don't have to pay strata fees, property tax, maintenance, uh, you don't have to pay a mortgage, all that stuff. Uh, that's, a that's a benefit. So you don't have to maintain the property, meaning um, you know, if, you're, if your sink breaks, if your faucet breaks, if, if something's broken, you just call the landlord and say, oh, can you fix this? And you don't have to pay for any of that. Hopefully you have a good landlord who will get it done quickly and not drag on. But free amenities, if you get to stay at a high-end rental property and that have uh, really sophisticated uh, amenities, it's a bonus, it's a bonus. So free amenities, no down payment, you don't have to save up you know, 200 grand, 100 grand. You get to save that and use that towards other, uh, other stuff, like other investments as well. Flexibility and relocation. So you can move, pick up your bags and move out whenever you want. You don't, you're not secured down by mortgage. Below market value rent, um, probably 99% of landlords out there don't really know how to maximize their rental property business. So they don't really charge market value for rent. So you're often able to find uh, landlords who are overseas sellers and overseas homeowners and then they're just like, oh, you know, as long as you don't pick and screen, they'll charge you like, you know, $500 below what it's worth. So you can buy, so there are people living in Yale Town for like paying $2,100 for two bedrooms with a view, which the rent is like, should be like three grand. So yeah, there are a lot of those in, uh, in Vancouver. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Email me if you have any more questions. Thank you.